really not that much for me to say. Ain't nobody ever gonna love me. Ain't nobody ever gonna care for me. This is just what I do. Like, it's the same old story. Like, I was born. I was in foster care. I was in group homes. I'm older now, and I'm just doing my thing. Like, I can't keep no job. Every time I get a job, it's just I never had a job longer than two weeks. And I get fired a lot, or I just don't get hired. People just not fucking with me. So now, I just, I'm just a prostitute, and I'm just getting how I live. Like, this is the life I was born to live, and this is the life I'm going to die from. I just accepted the lifestyle. Like, that's why I don't cry. I'm not upset, bro. I don't give a fuck if a nigga fuck, fuck me, give me brother, fuck me, and never talk to me again. I don't care. Like, nobody's gonna love me, and I know that. Like, I don't know why niggas come to know my shit saying all this shit. Uh, 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 bro, that, this is my life. This is what I'm going down from. This is, this is what it is. This, that's it. And that's all I gotta say. There's really, I don't really like talking about my life at all. It's the date master and we're back. We got a different type of video we're gonna do this morning. I'm gonna play devil's advocate. Just doing my due diligence as I always do, just to kind of make sure you keep a pulse of the climate. I don't know where you guys are located, but I'm located in a city that's pretty much been in the top 10, top 15 for the last maybe 10 years when it comes to murder, crime, violence, etc. And I notice, you know, I notice a lot of these, I guess you'd call perpetrators or suspects are young black males. Uh, this is a epidemic that we're facing and have been facing for quite some time. And the time is now. I was talking to my guys and I told them about, uh, you know, I love I love the money bag, yo's, the futures, the young dogs. I, I, I love the music. But when you sit down and listen to the lyrics and you listen to, you know, what's being said. These are some of the most egregious and the most graphic details that one can think of or events that took place that some of these artists have witnessed or heard about. And I told my guys, I said, at this point, looking at the number of black men that are losing their life, the number of black women that are losing their life, the number of black babies that are losing their lives. A good portion of the violence is due to the music that we listen to. One must ask, when you see these rappers on Instagram with pounds of green, pounds of green, lean, all of this money, etc. One must ask how are these rappers able to do so every day, all day without any kind of consequence. Because if you notice... It's only a certain select group of rappers who have went through this maze unscathed. I'm not going to call any names, but you look at their social media, their presence, their message. And some of these rappers have made it through unscathed. And if you think about it, these are your top tier. These are the ones who are generating in a lot of cases the most revenue. They have the most sponsorships. They have the most endorsements, et cetera, et cetera. So you have a agenda at hand to where as a black male rapper, I can talk about killing my brother, duct taping his mother, robbing him, shooting his face off. I can say that a hundred times in a song. But the moment I mentioned Jew, or the LBGT community, I'm automatically canceled. With no trial, no uh, conversation, no platform to explain, which I feel my opinion, 
should be should not be explained to anyone because it's my opinion, just like they have theirs. One must ask, how am I able to talk about raping, killing, smashing on the holes every other verse? But the moment I mention Jew or the LBGTQ, I'm canceled. And I know I've went on a tangent, but I'm going to play devil's advocate. Because a lot of us in this space think that uh, MGTOW can save you. I'm going red pill. I'm not. I, I, I don't know what 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 work. I, I know you can overdose on this red pill. You can overdose. But the fundamental building block of family and community is the man, the woman and the child, better known as the family. The nuclear family. Tupac made a song called Brenda's Got a Baby. And a lot of us tend and we have a propensity to point the finger at the woman every single time. Yet scream that I'm an alpha male, I'm this and that, but has not taken charge of any situation other than their own. You have not went into any other territory and planted a flag and said enough of this shit. We're going to do it this way. You can take care of yourself and go and live on an island. You can go in. MGTOW, I'm not dealing with women. I don't need women and all. You can do that. That's that's an option. But you can't scream, I'm an alpha, I'm, I'm a this and that, I'm a dominant male. If you don't go in and change the conditions. And a lot of us tend to point the finger at the choices of our women, which they are to be held to a certain standard. But in the same breath, if you're claiming a man of leadership dominance, et cetera, then the fallout of the community lies on your back. The issues in the community rest on your shoulders and falls on your back. You cannot run and hide and claim you're a dominant male. You cannot sit behind a camera if you're not in the trenches and claim you're a dominant male. You cannot do it. It doesn't work that way. See, this award, we have a another leg of this alpha and red pill space that calls for us to create change in our environments. Yes, yes. You you if you're if you're mentally and socially inclined and you're elevated and intelligent, etc., you should have solutions that should be utilized. When, in the community. So when you look at these broken women on the front of this video, you're going to see a woman speak about how she is not loved by men, how she has chose prostitution as her means of survival and that she's going to die that way. One must ask, where is her father? One must ask, where is her father? So these women do not just wake up broken the same way men just don't go crazy when they do the things that they do. There are root causes to all of the issues that we face in our communities and in the world. So when you look at these women rocking around, broken, uh, demoralized, etc., you look at the single parent households and you point the finger, women, you're making the babies. Yes, that's true. That's true. But the men are making the babies as well with them because it takes two to tango. And the man leads the process of developing family. And in a lot of cases, because women are emotional, men knew exactly what to say and do to get in those panties. Because we have the proverbial, uh, controversial topic of who's smarter, man or woman. We have this topic, and a lot of men say men are smarter. So if we're smarter, that means more responsibility lies on us when we go in all of these different situations. MGTOW won't save you. 
you can sit in cowardice and you like I said, you can sit behind the camera, I'm MGTOW, I'm red pill, I'm done with I'm done with women. Okay. That's fine. But you can't call yourself an alpha or a dominant male if you choose to sit back and watch chaos ensue day after day, week after week, year after year without doing anything but making videos about it. No. The new standard is here. The new standard is here because without family and values, you're going to see just as much chaos, if not more. I would go to bed and say you're going to see a lot more chaos because the family has been dismantled. And instead of coming up with solutions to repair, we find reason and excuses to stay away. We find reason and excuses to justify why I'm going my own way. It doesn't work that way. This red pill, again, it is very valuable and it is great information because it's all about understanding your reality, learning yourself and becoming the highest level, the best version of yourself. And then you go back into it's, it's, it's like putting on armor. You can't go to battle without your without the proper gear. These military, these Marines, black ops, they go in with all of this tactical gear before they go on a mission. They get the schematics, they get the uh, objective and they get the uh, the mission and then they go out fully prepared, fully planned, ready to execute. Not a moment sooner. So when you look at the woman of today, you have to ask yourself, how did she get that way? Because when you go back, you know, years and years, this was not commonplace. This was not commonplace to see women speak and act in the manner that they are acting. They're only acting that way because it has not been any provision and direct order from a masculine man in the household. So you see these women on these platforms. And that's why, again, I always give shout out to Fresh and Fit because they bring these women to show you their true mindset, uncut, unfiltered. These women have not interacted or had any leadership or provision from a man. And you can tell. You can tell. You can tell that there has not been any man present. Because if there was, she would not be acting and talking in such a manner. So, again, the finger pointing has come to a halt. If you're going to be the man, alpha, sigma, whatever, dominant, you have to show action and you have to create the change. You have to create the change. We're going into a new world order. We're already here. And shit is not going to be sweet. So the women you think you're running from and going to hide from, they're going, just like everything else, they're going to adapt. I said this in previous videos that women are going to become more violent. You see the videos when women are teeing off on men to where you say, well, a man is stronger than a woman, but women outnumber us. So it, w it, it won't be long before the one woman that you did wrong or whatever comes back with six women who trained and who studied you and who learned their power to over uh, to do whatever they want to do to you. They understand that there's strength in numbers. That's why they have the hive mindset. So you may be stronger than, you know, your average woman. OK. But when you have eight women that has studied, trained, and you haven't, you're going to have your hands full. I don't care what kind of man you are. Because women do not use the same strategies as men. They know your weaknesses. They will learn your weaknesses. They will study you, get in good with you for three, four, five, six years to carry out their plan. 
but you're too naive and too egotistical to believe that this is a possibility. People and all things on this earth is going will will evolve. They have the potential to evolve into something that they were once not. The same way you do, the same ability you have to evolve to go to high value. It's universal. So got a lot of guys like to sit back and again the, the finger pointing game is at, at some point it gets old, and you cannot hide. You cannot hide from your destiny. You cannot hide from it. You must embrace it. You must embrace it, and you must go into it with a confident mindset that you're going to win and be victorious. Not because you, uh, it, it feels good to say that because you know you put in the work to uh, be competent enough and capable enough to do so. The modern day woman, when you when you break it down, you can see the vitriol they have for men. That's why they're speaking like men every chance they get. I'm making the money now. I don't need you for this. This is not it, it's not going to get any better if, unless we go in and neutralize the problem versus running from it and doing YouTube videos day after day. Action must take place. The broken women are made by broken men. There are there are a lot of statistics on women who have been sexually assaulted by the age of 18 and 21. And those numbers are pretty high. They're pretty high. And I can use my own personal experience because when I, a lot of the times when I deal with a woman, I need to know what I'm getting into. So I know how to extract pertinent information about them before I decide to move forward with them or to continue whatever situation that is present. And I come to find out a good portion of the women that I've been with has been sexually assaulted by a man in their youth, which is a catalyst for hypersexuality. I'm going to do a part two to this video because this is the conversation that's not had in this space. A woman being sexually violated is a catalyst for her hypersexual behavior. The bipolar disorder is a result of hypersexuality, which is more prevalent in women. But I'm going to break this up into two parts. Y'all let me know what you think about this topic. It's a date master. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.